You are a Mona Lisa, a work of art, a masterpiece. And yet and still, if we keep it real, there's still gonna be times where you're going to have to get yourself out of a negative mindset. So in today's video, I'm joined by my team at the Big Money Movement, Kelly Lawson, Director of Operations, Cheryl Parks, Lead Coach and Trainer. We're gonna give you three tools to help you come out of a negative mindset. First and foremost, I believe in giving ourselves grace and compassion. One of my favorite phrases is the fact that emotions, if we break it down, is emotion. Feelings, emotions should move through you. So feel the feelings and allow them to come. There's a lot of damage that can happen when we numb ourselves to what we're feeling or we shame ourselves for our emotions. I think your emotions are your truth and that it is important that we feel the feelings, allow them to process and move through them. Sometimes just by honoring how you feel in a moment, it's enough for that wave you know, to crash and, and come through and move on to the next tide or the next emotion. And even if that doesn't happen, if you feel the feelings and get curious about why you're feeling the feelings, I think that really helps you to get outside of a negative emotion. I find that for many of us, it comes to like our personal narrative and what we're telling ourselves about a feeling. Like an emotion is an emotion, right? Like we all feel them, that's the human experience. But I think it's the story that you attach to the emotion. That's the thing that really can leave us down sometimes. And so I think for me, it's being present with it, being aware of what that emotion is, getting curious about the narrative because there's often programming there, right? That, that's a trigger that might show up numerous times. But aside from that, Cheryl, what do you think if we're looking at tools for how to bring yourself out of a negative emotion, what might you suggest? So um, kind of the, the lead to what I'm getting ready to say is understanding that to become someone else, you have to become. So you're gonna be shedding something. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times the emotion of shedding who you were is that's the heaviness, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's the heaviness because we're going forward not knowing in certainty that it is the right place, right? So once you kind of go through that piece of it, the other thing that I like to do is really volunteer. Mm -hmm. So it just takes me outside my own head and I start understanding that other people have things going on as well. Whether it's mentoring, somebody that is getting into sales, it could just be purely going to help feed the homeless or mm -hmm. whatever it is for you, whatever you have in your local community and or you could do online, um, but those things help. It, it just takes you out of your own head. Sometimes we're so deep in our own thoughts that we forget that oh the rest gosh. of the world is out there too. <laughs> I agree, and, and I wanna backtrack a little bit because this idea of mourning who you used to be, right? as you grow, shift, and evolve, that's a heavy thing that I don't know if we talk about enough. I know for us in the Big Money Movement, we help women entrepreneurs secure six-figure corporate clients, and. The thing about securing six-figure corporate clients, it's real sexy. That's a sexy tagline. Get with us, bigmoneymovement.com. <laughs> but the thing about that is, if you go from zero to 100 and you land a six-figure corporate client, just because you've secured the dollars doesn't mean you've evolved into the, to the woman you need to be to lead a business with six-figure corporate clients. And sometimes I feel like this tug of war that happens with women. So I just wanted to underscore that. But also giving. Yes. I agree with that. Um, I read a book, I think it's uh, Supreme Influence by Nirka, and she talks about how light and darkness can exist at the mm -hmm. same time, and the light will always dispel the dark. Yeah. I think about when you're going through dark times, or for myself, gratitude right. always helps me. It's like, mm -hmm. I'm going through a dark time, but what can I be grateful for right now? And that doesn't negate my experience. It just means that, okay, let me shift my focus for a moment. So I appreciate that. Yeah. Kelly, what do you think? Um, I just think sometimes we think we have it within ourselves to pull ourselves out of a negative <laughs> mindset or a negative thought process or negative thinking and sometimes it's just not possible. Like our cup is literally empty. We literally need to be poured back into. And so that's what I would suggest to entrepreneurs to make sure that they reach out and um, invest in a community where um, they're getting that interaction with people and they're being told, oh my gosh, you did a great job, or I love that piece that you put out, or 
you're great, you're excellent, and it just boosts the confidence. And then sometimes it just comes down to investing in mental health, like getting therapy. And I love that we are able to extend that to our members, Liz. Um, has that been pivotal for you as well? No. <laughs> you see how she tried to set me up. No, that's why. No, it has. It has. <laughs> like, no, I do. I agree. I think it's. I. So what Kelly's referring to is that at the Big Money Movement, we have a partnership with BetterHelp, and so every woman that we serve through the Big Money Movement, we invest in her therapy, right? And so because we believe is a part of our culture that the entrepreneurial journey is one of the most difficult journeys you will ever be on in life, <laughs> hands down. And these are mamas of kids and That's married right. folks yeah. talking at the same time. And I think marriage is right there with, <laughs> with the savagery of an adulthood. Who signed us up for this trash? Disney, I blame you <laughs> for my marriage and all these things I aspired for, which are the ghetto. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> That being said, <laughs> I think it's one of the hardest journeys. And so if we're going to help women land deals or sales or all these sexy memes about being a boss, mm -hmm. we also have to help the whole woman. Mm -hmm. And I think it's our mindset, right? That is the thing that can be a very dark place to go alone. So yes, it is a big thing and it's an honor. Thank you BetterHelp for that partnership and being able to extend that benefit to our women. Life is real. We have, um, and Cheryl, I know as a coach, you, a lot of times mm -hmm. you hear about these experiences before we do, but I mean, I'll share my own personal story and then I'll also share the women. Too often as a society, we look at people's highlight reels and think it's their entire human experience. And it's so damaging. And, and I know for myself, I've been in moments where I've been held hostage by the appearance of my own success. Like there have been times where like my marriage has been like rock bottom, hardest time. There have been times where, and Kelly knows this, you know, I've lost my best friend. My clients never knew, right? Because I was like, it's not your bit. My business is to serve you. I mean, I've lost my best friend. I've had difficult times in my marriage. I'll never forget the moment that I was walking across the stage getting 40 under 40, which is something I wanted for so long. I was going through one of the most difficult personal times in my life. And so I realized that life is not a highlight reel and you can have the greatest highs happening at the same time as the greatest lows in your life. And I think that we need professionals to help us navigate that because entrepreneurship can be a really lonely journey. I don't know what you all's thoughts are on therapy and just member experiences and things. 100% agree. I think that, and we're also kind of trained, right? We're just trained to say, oh, okay, well, I'm gonna keep this private. And it's knowing like when it's when it should remain private, and when you should let people in, whether you know it's your inner circle or it's selected people. But it's just helpful to be able to talk to people, like-minded thinkers, mm -hmm. elevated thinkers, um, people that are aspiring, yeah. um, because you don't have to fill in the gaps. You don't that you don't have to explain why you want this so bad, but yet you've got these other issues going on. Right. Yeah. Also, we have to look at like what we're in digesting in the Ooh. in the world like sometimes we're scrolling on Instagram that's the first thing we do we're comparing ourselves to Sue and Jamie Sometimes. and <laughs> Jacqueline <laughs> and Tori and um, comparison will literally stifle a file a fire in you and then also a lot of times the news and too much media consumption can affect our thinking I totally agree with that the other thing that happens um, and I notice this in the group a lot of times the women in our group are looking to achieve something, but they've got things going on in the background. So if you are a leader and you're teaching leadership, but you're having a really hard time in the background, it's really difficult to have that confidence mm -hmm. that you can teach other leaders. It's not even, it's kind of like the cousin to the imposter syndrome, mm -hmm. right? So you started this journey, you know you're a leader, you know you can coach other leaders, but you've got this background going on. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a, we call it, you know, um, a pivot, a, mm -hmm. you're changing, you're, you've got a bump in the road. Mm -hmm. And it's just a matter of having faith and just, um, again, focusing on the goal. But again, as you said, Kelly, sometimes it's serious and you need to get some mental health. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And what you're saying makes me think of the cobbler's children have no shoes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that that's a thing that then, um, because we're going through difficult times, we decide I shouldn't be visible. 
when actually it's use those experiences to be visible because now you can relate to your audience and now what you say will resonate with them because you're there in the depths with them, right? So I definitely agree and align with that. I love this. So everything from being present with your feelings to choosing gratitude or finding a cause that you can contribute to to give you purpose and fulfillment to also like stop playing with your life mm -hmm. and talk to <laughs> and talk to a professional mm -hmm. and even sometimes you know like to your point sharing with others because sometimes you're in a negative mindset because you have a narrative about the experience and you talk to someone else, which is what I love about our community, and you're like, oh, you struggling with that too, girl? Right. Oh, that kind of diffuses mm -hmm. this narrative that I have about myself. Yes. I personally think this conversation is one of the most important conversations. When, when we launched the Big Money Movement, originally it was just sales training and consulting. I'm like, you wanna know how to get these dollars? Like, I will teach you how to sell, psychology. And then we created this movement of women and their questions were all questions about mindset. How do I deal with obstacles and challenges? And I think that the, when you are a leader or an entrepreneur, it's navigating the, the hard times and your mindset are the things that take you to success. So let's make big money moves together. And big money is not just about a dollar sign, it's about creating bigger impact. It's about being the leader of something that's bigger than you. It's about leaving a legacy and creating abundance. And that's a major calling. And you need someone to help you to navigate that journey, the ups and downs of mindset, as well as real tactical strategies. That's why you need to go to thebigmoneymovement.com and apply for access to our two hour masterclass where we're gonna give you the foundations to secure and land six figure corporate clients. Click that link now. This is a training that will change your life. If you wanna continue this conversation with us, which you should, click the link and watch the next video. We'll see you there.